What's going on? Fitness Kenshul here, and today I got a pretty much more of a motivational video. Uh, pretty much the number one advice I would give to anyone who's trying to engage in a weight loss journey. Now, just to give you a little background, I come from a Dominican family. We don't believe in portion control whatsoever. My mom cooked off a feeling, and when she fed us and she put dinner on our plate, um, it's pretty much everything was just off a feeling. So, just to give you an idea, nothing was tracked. We just ate as we went. If we were fed, we were happy. My mom was happy. Everyone was good as long we get our nutrients that we were eating eating a lot right so the number one struggle that I had losing weight was portion control and that's why meal prepping is so important with me that's why I kind of threw out the meal prepping with Kensho um, series for you guys to kind of like um, kind of just adapt and um, implement meal prepping to your guys' daily lifestyle if you guys find it beneficial because I found it that it was a great benefit for me as far as tracking and keeping myself accountable so again portion control I will never go to McDonald's anymore I back in the day I used to get like like maybe when the dollar menu was freaking popular, three double cheeseburgers, three McDoubles, two, uh, you know, dollar menu fries, and maybe a, a, a supersized Diet Coke. But again, shit was cheap. I had no portion control. Now I kind of know, you know what, maybe I can only do one McDouble. So just doing those little things, that little thing of controlling my portions for every meal made a big change in my weight loss journey. So what the fuck am I, what the fuck are you trying to say, Cheyenne? You, you guys are probably asking. What are you trying to say, Cheyenne? Pick one thing. Evaluate your life um, as far as everything that you do. If you smoke weed, if you drink uh, um, too much, maybe you have too much of a social life, you don't give time to yourself. Maybe you don't meal prep like I did, um, or you don't practice portion control. Maybe you drink a lot of freaking soda. Maybe you freaking are addicted to chocolate or sweets and donuts every freaking day. You put a, t a cup of creamer with a shot of coffee every morning. Um, change that. Fig fig figure out one, one thing that you can change that's gonna become a bigger change and that right there is gonna bring you crazy results that you have no idea especially for my coffee drinkers because a lot of you guys cannot stay away from that creamer drink that coffee black find the purpose to coffee which is you know the caffeine aspect if you need caffeine just to stay up or get you through the morning to wake you the fuck up because you got a tough stressful job drink your coffee black get that pick me up leave the creamer on the side and I guarantee you that the pounds are gonna start coming down guarantee all right I'm not even gonna edit this video I'm gonna leave it raw for you guys just like this is easier to edit for me plus it's, it's just a message that I wanted to get out to my channel to my viewers people that are struggling with their weight loss journey hope this helps you guys uh, more videos to come in the future like the video if you did like these type of words that I was trying to give you more videos to come like I said and I'll see you guys in the next one take care guys you're following macros is that let's say my maintenance was 3,000 I bring it down to 28 slowly my metabolism is going to start to adapt to 2800 and that's when I got to go down to a little bit lower and that's where the weight loss happens. With carb cycling, here's the difference. So with carb cycling, let's say you're at...